The Dutch have a saying, God made the earth, but the Dutch made the Netherlands. The North Sea would have washed away the Netherlands if the Dutch had not erected defenses to protect their land. In fact, 65% of the country would be flooded daily if Mother Nature had her way. Over the centuries, the Dutch have built a series of canals, dams, dikes and pumping stations to keep the sea and rivers back. A dam, or dike, is a wall that keeps water on one side and keeps the land dry on the other side. Today, more than 1,491 miles, or 2,400 kilometers, of dikes sealed the low, flat, almost half of which lie below the sea level from the North Sea. I will in this video show how the Dutch managed to hold off Mother Nature and give a possible explanation to why the Dutch are the tallest people in the world. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Since around year 900, dikes have protected the first villages from flooding. From around year 1250, the dikes were connected between villages and eventually started to form a common defense against the sea. Further drainage would only be possible by developing the polder windmill in the 15th century. The king of the Netherlands understood that dikes' safety and maintaining was absolutely critical for the kingdom and he appointed dikegraaf, or we could call them dike bosses, and these reported directly to the king. The wind-driven water pump has become one of the trademark tourist attractions of the Netherlands. The first draining mills used a scoop wheel that could weigh water one and a half meters. By combining mills, uh, the pumping height could be increased. Today, you may see the Dutch windmill and think, how cute is that? But in fact, this is a brilliant piece of engineering and one of the things that helped to create the Netherlands. The windmill uses the power of the wind to lift water and drain the areas inside the dikes. The reason is that the land had peat soil and peat soil is brilliant farming soil. I will demonstrate what peat is. Peat consists of plants, as you see here, with a bunch of root and a lot of water. In fact, for one part peat, there can be as much as 10 times or even more water in it. Since more than 1000% of peat soil is water, the land settled as peat was drained. The Netherlands was already low compared to sea level, but draining the peat left 70% of the Netherlands under the sea level. The lowest point is close to seven meters or 21 feet below sea level, meaning that if the sea was allowed inside, then a normal house would be completely covered with water. Today, the Dutch continues to make impressive engineering. Most impressive is a massive storm surge barrier called Meerslant Barrier and was completed in 1997 to protect Rotterdam, Europe's largest port. It's equal in size to two Eiffel Towers on their sides. This barrier is likely the largest moving structure in the world. So the Netherlands is for sure a country built by the Dutch, by dikes and windmills, and maybe the largest moving structure in the world. It's a nation built by brilliant engineering. And finally, why are the Dutch the tallest people in the world? Maybe because they for 1000 years have been stretching to see over the dikes if floods are coming. Who knows? I hope you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. My next video is likely on sinkholes.